What do you think about your brother? <laughs> we are Jason, Julie, Emma, and Hudson. We decided we were ready for a new adventure, so we sold our house, and we are traveling in an RV full time. We are excited to see what God has in store for us. Follow along as we hit the road in the slow lane. Get out there and make more of every moment. Look out our window. We, that out there is the Gulf of Mexico. We are in a campground at a state park called Sea Rim, and it's in, um, where is it? Near Port Arthur, Texas. Near Port Arthur, Texas. And that is pretty cool. You can also uh, drive on the beach you can camp on the beach. We are not doing that this time around, but maybe sometime. And it is absolutely beautiful. So we're gonna take you around and uh, show you a little bit of what this park has to offer. Okay, so there are around, it's not very big, but there's about 15 camping spots here. Um, and then of course they have like primitive camping out on the beach. Uh, most of the spots are pull through, um, not all of them, but quite a few of them are. And then I'll take you around to the back. Okay, so this is a spot where we are. Hi, Emma. Hi. <laughs> and way, it's not really that far you can walk down there is the Gulf of Mexico. And then there are a few um, little pond areas that you can fish. Uh, we did try, well, we didn't have a whole lot of luck. <laughs> but who knows you might um, we are here in January so yes it is a little bit chilly uh, today it is probably in the mid 50s but it's it's not bad we're wearing our jackets and things um, I'm sure in the summertime it's a lot busier here but we didn't have any trouble getting in uh, we just called the night before and made a reservation so in January you can get in here really easily so that's us for now no, we still do not have a motorhome yet. We are still in the process of getting one, um, but we still love our travel trailer. It's taking us everywhere we wanna go, and we've been in Texas for a little over, how long, how much a month we've been in About, Texas? Yeah. So we, we love Texas, and we do have plans to go to other states, um, but as of right now, we have been highly enjoying it, haven't we, Hudson? Oh yeah. And you can laugh at my hat. I'm wearing Emma's uh, just because it's a little chilly and I don't care what I look like because it feels good on my head and my ears. Are you saying my hat's ugly? <laughs> no, but it might be a little kid's hat and it's not an adult hat. That's okay. Say hi, Daisy. Dog says hello. <laughs> All right, so we'll uh, show you around. through spots so super easy we didn't even unhitch because we're only here for a couple of nights so that's nice to just be able to get up early in the morning and head out we love seeing all the um, van lifers here I think that's super cool maybe one day when the kids are out of the house Jason and I might can uh, tackle that we'll see so she's probably mad at me because I made her go all the way back and get her heavier coat that has a hood <laughs> because that's what mamas do. <laughs> Good job, Emma. You made it. Now you'll be too tired for the rest of the walk, right? <laughs> there is not a whole lot of uh, shopping. I guess uh, Jason said the closest place was probably 400 miles, <laughs> about 20 minutes away. 
but just to stop over they also do not have uh, sewer hookups but you're only going to stay here for a couple of days and it's perfectly fine um, they do have a dump station now yes they do have a dump station so that will help uh, but how much was it 28 bucks uh 20 bucks plus uh a day entry fee for each person so it, for us it was like 26 dollars 26 bucks pretty awesome to be right at the beach so we have loved this we highly recommend it um i'm sure it will be a lot better when it's warmer <laughs> in the summer uh, but you know you may not you may have a harder time getting in so it's not very busy at all and it's just been a nice change um, because we were in the city doing lots of things the last few days and which we enjoyed but it's also nice to get a break so we've sat around and played cornhole walked on the beach and it's been perfect good change of pace that you can just drive out on the beach. Um, the kids had their scooters earlier and the sand is packed hard enough that you can uh, take your scooters out on the beach. If we had um, electric bikes or something like that, that would be perfect. Maybe one of these days we'll get some. So it's not the most beautiful beaches that we've ever been to, yeah. but it's still so much fun just to get out here and walk around. Uh, there's lots of shells that you can pick up um, as long as there's nothing living in them. They said that it was perfectly fine for you to take some shells back with you. So pretty cool. You got quite a few, didn't you? Yeah. We had it's a whole bag here. full. We had a whole bag full of them. Yeah. More stuff to go in the RV, right? <laughs> Daisy's going paper. in the water. Let's see if she Ooh. will. Hey guys, look at the fish I caught! Oh, gross! Oh, that's messy! <laughs> Daisy, do you want the fish? Uh, <laughs> Emma's found quicksand. Oh my gosh! Jelly sand. Can you, can you get out of it? <laughs> that's that creepy. So, since, since we didn't have any luck fishing today, I guess this is our catch. Mm, looks, app looks appetizing, doesn't it? I'm going to name it Squishy. Squishy. Squishy the fish. Oh, oh that's no. sharp. That's oh, look Goodbye, at Squishy. Oh, come here, come here. Look at its teeth. Oh, that's creepy. It's a lot of that's teeth. Ew. Thankfully, it doesn't stink because it's oh, already look at his far, far too gone. I think we didn't get to eat you. I got to say goodbye. Saying goodbye to Squishy. I'm hoping that this airplane shows up because it's just been making circles and loops. So fun. Oh, I think they're going to show out for us. Maybe they'll come right where we are. Hudson asked me this morning if I would get up and uh, 
take a walk with him on the beach and I just thought it was absolutely precious. He is 10 years old and so I know <laughs> that I'm not going to get very many cuddles and snuggles like I used to. That really touched Mama's heart and I could not pass up getting up super early. It was very cold but we did it and I'm so glad that we did because we had the best time this morning. I'm not sure why but there's just something about walking um, on the beach that makes you feel really closer to God and I love that time because it's like a quiet time and I have like one-on-one -on -one conversations which you can do that all the time but I think it's always just more special for some reason at the beach so it's been a wonderful day it's Sunday we're missing our church um, we plan on visiting some other churches when we're traveling and we want to do a little bit of some mission work and, and things like that, volunteer and do some special things um, while we are taking this time on the road because it's very important and God has put us here for a reason and we're going to use our time in a special way that he desires for us. Give me a girl. Give me a girl. Boy is a mess. I found a turtle. Now he has a turtle. You find all the most disgusting things Aww. because that's what 10 year old little boys do, right? Muscle. <laughs> what do you think about your brother? <laughs> do you see the class C over there? Yep. One of these days when we get our mother home, we are going to park on the beach, right? <laughs> Jason said then we will get stuck. Possibility. Okay, so this was the beach. And there's a little access road right here that you can bring your vehicles down. And then I can't, I don't know if you can tell, but right above that grassy area is where our camper is parked. So we are just steps away from the beach which is awesome and we are back um we leave in the morning we're gonna leave pretty early to go on to our next place i'm not exactly sure where that is but if it's cool we will film about it um, but we may walk down to the beach first thing in the morning. I'm not sure yet. So if I can get my sleepy head out of bed early enough for the sunrise, then we may show you that. We'll see. Stay tuned. Believe it or not, I actually got up early this morning. But unfortunately, it is very cloudy. And I don't think we will see much of the sunrise it is fixing to come up here in about three or four minutes. Um, but anyway, it's still pretty down here. So I thought I would come down and take some footage while I'm up anyway. And I believe that I am the only one out here. And I don't see anybody. <laughs> so I'm the only crazy one that's up this early. Sorry guys, no sunrise this morning. It should be right there, <laughs> but it's not happening. But thanks for joining us guys. We have loved it here. <laughs>